All right. Hey, YouTubers. We're doing a six-month review of the LG 4K Blu-ray player 870, 875 series that is uh, last year's model. They have moved on to the UBK80. Hopefully I got that, that uh, number right. Um, so a couple things to talk about. One, I wanted to go over uh, this 4K player and tell you what I've been happy with, what I haven't been happy with, and then what you should expect from the UBK80. Is it worth upgrading from this one to that? And what really are the differences? So, things I've been happy with for this, and we'll zoom out a little bit. Now realize the new 4K players that are out there with Dolby Vision, I probably would want to jump on one of those at some point, maybe not just yet. But the time is definitely nearing that I need to upgrade. Now, me going from this model to the UBK80 would not actually get me any real benefit. Going from this to, say, the, the 90, uh, which is very similar to the 970 that was out, the only added benefit really to that would be the smart menus that are on there and I believe it also has the two HDMI's which uh, is pretty important if you don't have a 4k ready receiver um, like I have a pretty pretty nice Sony receiver down there that is actually uh, 4k ready and will pass through uh, the information so Things that have uh, bothered me about this player, though, I felt it has been pretty sensitive as far as the movies go. You get one fingerprint on a brand new disc, and there's a chance it'll start skipping on you. And you will be like, what is wrong? Um, and then hopefully you'll find that little smudge. Uh, funny story, <laughs> I sold something on eBay. Uh, my Wonder 4K Blu-ray, and uh, yeah, I, you know, always make sure my discs are clean when I sell them. The guy's like, "Oh, uh, I couldn't play this; it kept skipping." So I'm like, "Okay, send me, send it back. I'll give you a refund." I get it back. It's got like eight million kids' fingerprints all over it, and of course, eBay doesn't have seller's backs so I ended up you know losing the uh, the shipping costs on that one but uh, uh, I you know realize that uh, people make that mistake on the other end and uh, as well as myself so so that's one thing um, for the money this was an incredible deal I got it for um, it was supposed to be ninety nine dollars. I somehow got it for $89 at Best Buy. Um, the guy actually gave me a $10 um, discount for some reason. Um, so that was good. Next to it, I've got the Sanyo 4K player, which at times you can get for $50 to $75. And I also have a Samsung K85C here that uh, is... Honestly, probably better than both of these, but picture quality of that one is comparative to the LG. That one has the smart menus. Um, so, things that I wish this had, I wish it had the smart menus. I wish I could go straight to uh, YouTube. Um, I wish that I could pull up uh, Voodoo. Um, and that, that only reason is when this player is with a different TV that's not a smart TV. Right now, we've got a um, smart TV, an LG, for this video. But uh, there are other places in the house where I have 4K TVs, and occasionally one of these players ends up there, and that one does not have a um, 
smart does not have the smart TV feature. So uh, having that in the 4K Blu-ray player would be nice. But is it worth spending the extra money? Not necessarily. Over to the right, we've got a Roku, um, which I use on this TV, uh, sadly. This TV is a smart TV, but, uh, you know, the Roku has so many awesome apps in it. So um, that's the reason for that. So regardless of whether you have a smart LG, smart Samsung, you're going to have apps that you want that will not be on those. Um, let's see. Now, the amount of videos this thing plays that uh, using the USB input, uh, been pretty impressed with that. However, I have found there are certain files that, that do not play well in it. I've got a Sony Media Player that will play any file type I throw at it. Um, I'm sure there's something out there it can't play, but uh, it never seems to not be able to play it. never has any issues with the uh, Dolby surround sound or the sound uh, output. This one, for the most part, the files work, and if you go to their website, you can, you can see which files uh, it plays. I may actually, at this point in the video, drop that in over it so you can see, but um, there are some of the, um, we'll, we'll just call them, I guess, Blu-ray um, Blu RIP files that are large in nature, that have an issue playing in this without. Uh, they'll play for so many seconds and it's almost like they're buffering and then they will continue to play. So that that part has been disappointing. The good old remote control that comes with this, um, though I did a shootout of three different remotes, this one actually won out of those three. Um, but could it be better? Yes. Having a larger hand like I do, these, having a remote this small, uh, is not the best thing in the world. And it's, uh, you know, rather annoying. But beyond that, uh, it could have a slightly better ergonomic feel to it. Um, you know, when I say that, if you ever pick up your Roku uh, remote, it feels a lot better in your hand and just so you know look at the look at the back of these all right all right sorry look at the back of these this is so much smoother and nicer to hold this is not so as far as ergonomics go there is an issue right there now that said why would they make this nice tv remote like that and make this like that. So that's another thing. And this is probably the exact same remote that's in the UBK80, at least from what I saw. I believe it has the same exact number on the front of it. So I never use the photo or music aspect of this. Um, but I do love I do love having that front USB in, in there. Um, so that is that is definitely something that uh, comes in handy when it's used. You will like that. The menus in this thing are simple, very simple. Um, I mean, it is so basic. I actually like the Sanyo's menus better. It's even more basic. Um, but you know, going through here and trying to find stuff, there isn't a whole lot in here. And it's just really simple to find. So you really can't complain about it. And it looks like I am not zoomed out enough. Christ. Start that over. So the menus in here. All right, so let's look at the menus. This is so simple in here. I definitely do not have any complaints about the menus. Um, you know, there could be a few more features in here, but overall, it is uh, 
it's just basically simple. You can't complain about it if it ain't in here, right? No. Um, you know, like I said, it's not it's not a smart um, 4K player. So along those lines, something you may want uh, is Wi-Fi. Uh, and usually, you only need the Wi-Fi if you are doing your You only need your Wi-Fi if you are either doing a hardware upgrade, you want to do the uh, Blu-ray Live features, or you have a smart TV. So in this case, um, I actually have a device on the wall that I could plug that uh, in. It's not actually a... Uh, let me redo this whole section. This is terrible.